Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com. Today is Friday, March 26, 2010. The markets have closed in split fashion. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 9 points, and the NASDAQ, well, it just took a loss, a haircut of about 2 points. No big deal. Um, the main thing is the candlestick formation. It's an inverted hammer. Uh, basically, the market for the past 2 days has tried to advance higher, and been bulls have been unable to control that. They've ended up giving it back, and bears have taken those days um, very successfully. Uh, technicals all point to overbought conditions when you're looking for a pullback, and nothing has changed there. On the fundamental front, the Obama administration came in and announced to everybody, which they leaked yesterday, was that uh, uh, a housing stimulus package, yet another, uh, this one's of $14 billion. Hmm, $14 billion. Sounds like a lot of money, unless you remember what Elizabeth Warren said about the two to three hundred billion dollars of commercial real estate uh, losses we could be the banks could be suffering uh, between now and 2014. I think she was. She said, if my memory serves me correctly, basically this 14 billion dollars is a drop in the bucket, and it doesn't even focus on commercial real estate. This is just on on uh, individual houses, and it doesn't apply to anyone who's already. Uh, behind in their mortgage payments so it, they're just trying to stop a second wave of uh, people falling behind um, but it doesn't deal with the commercial issue okay which isn't something you can just ignore it's going to hit it's going to be bad and it's it's going to be uh, a game changer basically uh, when when hotels uh, go into foreclosure that means job losses so be thinking that way okay uh, there's several different areas we could look at, we, from political tensions from between different countries. Uh, I think today was North Korea and South Korea. They always have little issues. Uh, we could look at uh, Israel and Iran. Um, there's there's a lot of things out there uh, as far as uh, catalysts for bears. Okay, uh, there's very little out there for catalysts for bulls. In fact, I can't think of one. Um, right now, everyone's hopeful of the next set of earnings coming out and start in a couple weeks, but or actually started this week with Oracle. But uh, we saw lackluster there with Oracle. I mean, the profits missed. Um, I, I wouldn't be looking for a great surprise here. Um, again, looking at Greece, I think they started off with telling us that Greece was, you know, got caught with their pants down. They uh, they're in some debt issues. Then they tossed in Spain. Uh, I think last. This week they tossed in uh, Portugal as well. This is a growing issue that's going to affect us. I don't think we've seen the end of it. I wasn't around for the Great Depression, but I can tell you, I bet you money, it didn't start off with everybody calling it a Great Depression. It probably started off with a dip, a recession, a second recession. Oh my Lord, we're in a Great Depression. Uh, it was a worldwide problem. We're seeing the same setups here again. In the Great Depression, that sell-off didn't happen overnight. There was rallies in the overall fall lower and uh, I wouldn't be getting my hopes up on this here we're still wondering whether or not this is a um, <clears throat> a true reversal in our economy I think we should look the next step and say once the economy actually does come up if it does come up and support the move we've already made in the markets is it sustainable and I'm not seeing any evidence for that now if you're a technical analyst and you trade based on technicals I've shown you all the technicals this week that every single technical we look for is bearish and pointing to a move to down. Uh, there's no reason to be long this market at this point. I mean, I would not be a buyer on Monday, okay? If you're looking at fundamentals, I encourage you to show me one. Show me some fundamental, other than the fact that the market is just going up, so that must be a reason to buy because that's a stupid reason. Show me a fundamental reason to, to be long this market right now. To be purchasing on Monday morning, show me one reason. I bet you can't. And all in all, I'm a bear. That's where I stand. Uh, I should also say that I'm biased probably because I'm short. But that's, you know, regardless, if you look at the technicals, they tell you the same thing. If you're not a full access member and you want to be one, go to our website, sign up, pay the 145 for the whole year, and boom, you're in. You'll have access to all of our alerts, including what's in my portfolio and why. This is really valuable information. All the serious traders and investors are there, so come join us. Refer your friends. God bless and enjoy your weekend.